Hot Wheelers, welcome back to the Motor Hood. It's Joe Motor with you here. Got about six cars here, some shiny hot rods I want to crack open for you. So we're going to do a little cracking yak here today. Uh, all Hot Wheels. We're going to start off with some cool classics here, and then I've got some RLC cars over here I've been meaning to get into. So we're just gonna we're gonna crack into them and take in the shiny goodness of them all. Now these three uh, here are from the latest Cool Classics release. It is indeed, uh, you know, if you watched my videos regularly and been paying attention lately, Cool Classics, we thought it was coming to an end at the end of last year, and then they decided they were going to release the final two cases, which is cool because there were some really cool models, and you'll find that Hot Wheels ser uh, saved some of the best models for last. So this is the second to last case. I didn't get all uh, of the different models. I just got the three and uh, but I'm looking forward to the Subaru Brat in the final case so I'll be grabbing that for sure but this one was a must-have for me the 65 Volkswagen Fastback this was just killer love the red let's crack it open here I got it as you can see on a cut card so didn't pay as much for it I like to crack, crack open all of my cool classics just because they're much uh, more interesting out of the package I think uh oh there we go so as you know with the fastback it's got a, a modular body here so you can pull it up and I don't know if it'll stay or not sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't there you go actually wants to come all the way off that is really really cool it comes all the way off look at that so there you have your body Beautiful Spectra Frost Red, and up here on the top it says um, Hot Wheels Racing Parts El Segundo. Really, really nice uh, detailed patterns here. Look at that. Really nice kind of, um, I guess it'd be what, Art Nouveau, Art Deco? I don't remember the difference. Just wonderful tampos, though. I love these vintage kind of um, fancy racing tampos. And the Subaru Brad is going to have kind of the same color scheme and uh, racing tampos as well. So I'm looking forward to it. So there's the body. just pops right off. And then uh, I guess it goes back on the little hoist there. And then it goes right back on the car. And it's a lot very similar to the garage version. This is the garage version that came out. And I've shown this in a previous video. So I assume that would pop right off too. But this is an excellent, excellent model. And I'm really glad they brought in a version of it for the Cool Classics. I think it works really well, and that red is just pretty stunning on it, if I do say so myself. Now, the 65 on it is a little bit um, smudged. doesn't quite look as sharp as I would like, but that's okay. It has kind of a vintage look to it. That might be my favorite out of this, this case. Uh, the other piece I picked up was the 84 Hearst Olds, and I'm not a big fan of gold, but uh, for this one... not so bad and the flameage on it is really really nice just that kind of dark shadow flame ghost flame there you can see it there really excellent pattern really nice classy design even though I'm not a gold fan it really is really is a beautiful sheen and it fits really well with this car I think so I give it a pass I'll deal with the gold color on this one super shiny Gorgeous, gorgeous. Even got some side markers here on the back. Not bad at all. Cool Classics was a really interesting series. And uh, probably more collectors will get into it as it becomes more and more hard to get. Now this one is pretty cool. 69 Mustang Boss, 302. Vintage Racing Tampo, so you know I had to have it. I will definitely be keeping my eye out for the Super Treasure Hunt Mustang Boss 302, which is E case. We've still got a lot of C case hanging around. We have not even hit D in my area. Um, they got a big old shipment of C case around Christmas, and that has not whittled down yet. So it's been pretty, pretty dead in the stores around here. That's really cool. Really cool, uh, kind of an aqua 
aqua turquoise or a teal color number 14 there on the side and then got your racing tampos there sponsor badges and whatnot nice 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 uh, tamboing on the top here the mustang black stripe it's just nice how it's uh, asymmetrical it's a little different on one side than it is on the other really cool really nice detail and love the front end of these bosses a big old scraper down there in the bottom so not much to complain about there at all it's got the roll cage inside here's the base I don't think I showed you the base on the other two very nice very nice set of cool classics there I'll show you the base real quick on the olds if it'll focus get it to focus there it goes and then the fastback here so three very nice models from the cool classics line that I think are worth picking up and really the whole set is worth it if you're a collector but I just you know these three stuck out for me so that's what I went for all right so now let's get to these um, RLC cars and I've got two of these and I've been meaning to crack this forever kind of thought I might trade one but uh, I want to crack this open and see what what's going on here for a couple of reasons let me go ahead and get it cracked you know these uh, RLC cars are kind of harder to get into Baby, there it is. Beautiful. So this is the um, the El Camino 71. No, I'm sorry, 1980. All right. <laughs> Guess I better read the label first. Yes, 1980 El, El Camino, and um, this thing is just incredibly beautiful. And it's hard to see it unless you get it out of the package. It's all black. It's got ghost flames here on the hood, which really, really show up once you get it out of the package. Those are just incredible. And that red and gray. Uh, pinstriping racing stripes on the hood there are really really remarkable the painted headlights and the side markers are incredible I mean look at that that is just incredible and then look on the side here you can see the ghost flames just barely peeking on the bottom right there got the red line deep dish real rider tires be a struggle to keep my fingerprints off of this thing your gas tank in the back and ghost flameage there's your the bed of the El Camino it's sort of like you know those sporks it's a it's a spoon and a fork at the same time well this is a car and a truck at the same time there's your bow tie Chevy bow tie there on the back with excellent tail lights and uh, there's my fingerprint on it which is a shame but it kind of disappears pretty well incredible incredible piece and uh, I just been meaning to get it out nice thick real riders but uh, one of the reasons it got inspired to get it out again is because I've been watching that show uh, Street Outlaws. I don't know if you guys watch that. About some guys in Oklahoma uh, in a street racing group called the 405. And uh, there's a particular racer named Kamikaze who drives a, I can't remember if it's an 80, but it's a vintage black El Camino. It's not quite as nice looking as this, but it's a mean, mean looking machine and he, he does pretty well in it. So... If you guys haven't checked that show out, check it out. That's what this this car here reminds me of. So uh, that one there's got a little suspension too. Cool, cool, cool. All right, here's the next one we're gonna crack. This one here is the Baja Bruiser, series four, or series eight, number four of six in the Real Rider series. These all were uh, limited to like ten thousand. The El Camino was seventy five hundred. This one here is 10,000. So they're not as limited as they are now. They're coming out now limited to 3 and 4,000. So I'm not I'm not, you know, heartbroken about opening these up because there's there's 10,000 of them out there. And uh, this one I, I don't think I paid too much for. But like I said, they just take on a whole new identity once you get them out of the package. There's our Baja Bruiser. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous Spectre Flame Blue. Flameage. Racing Tampos. Off-road. Doesn't get much better than that. 
some of the Baja bruisers from the vintage era the uh, look at that nice little embossed Mattel on the back there Baja bruiser nice tail lights Hot Wheels logo the number 41 look at all these chrome details in the bed here got some tools in the back some water tank gas tank maybe moving on over to this side love these Goodyear tires it's got red line rims really really beautiful love that roll cage here's the front end look at that I mean that's just hard to beat it looks a lot like the um, what is it the the 56 Ford pickup maybe in the front maybe just a little bit but that Spectre flame on this is in person it's just incredibly glossy and rich just like candy and uh, what I was saying was is that the vintage ones are even as cool as this they I think there's a white one maybe a blue one I can't remember all the different colors uh, the vintage black wall versions of this I really really wish they had done an original real rider version of this that was out but unfortunately they didn't but this one is killer I mean it just looks incredible look at that and you even got the white light up here on the roll cage very unique design there on the top I can't say enough about that I'm just kind of mesmerized by the the shininess of it show you the bottom now these bases are polished so they look plastic but they're metal so um, when they're shiny like that you have a tendency to think they're plastic but these uh, RLC cars for the most part are metal bases there's been a few that are plastic but fantastic all right we got one more to go and then I'll be done and that is this sucker right here the beach bomb 2 and I've just been dying to crack this open the one reason I haven't um, I mean it's not that rare it's limited to 10,500 so there's quite a few but look at the back of the package shows you some of those original real riders that came out in 82 83 and uh, this has kind of the original blue to it that the original real riders package did it when they started doing it later it was more black see that that's the more recent look to the real riders um, but this was kind of the original dark blue with the yellow real riders um, insignia there and so I just kind of admired it in the package for a while but the more I look at it the more this plastic is just prohibiting my appreciation of the detail of this beach bomb too so we're gonna crack it open Wow I'm telling you when you get these things out they just they're amazing that shiny shiny spectra flame just shouts at you it is just gorgeous super super shiny and reflective now the, the original beach bomb does not have I don't think has these these wings out on the side which is basically kind of a it's almost like a utility truck side where you can fit your your surfboard in and they're actually loose so you can take them in and out which gotta be careful not to lose them but I think the original beach bomb they just stuck in the the back of the van and this one it's actually got a a uh, utility pouch here on the side so you can actually take those surfboards out and put them back in that one's harder to take out but we won't force it let me show you the back real quick there you can see it says bombs away B-M-B-S-A-W-Y beautiful taillight and side marker detail you can see inside the vehicle there where the the surfboards there's the orange one on the left and there's the yellow one on the right that's a really cool cool feature dual exhaust coming out the back you can see down into to the um, cab there and then uh, I'll just show you the base real quick the thick real rider tires with tread excellent excellent sort of tribal tattoo sort of flame job here on the side very nice simple Goodyear print on the tires which looks like the original real riders and here you have your headlights and side markers just really simple classy excellent excellent design show the interior real quick so 
glad to have that out been waiting to do that for a long time and it's going to look good good in the display case so i uh, don't want to keep you too long here so uh, thank you very much for watching this particular kraken yak i've got a green light kraken yak coming up and some more videos planned so i hope you'll stay tuned give you a quick uh, close-up of these cars and we'll be done so thanks again for watching we'll see you guys next time